This is a short video on how to insert the Sonus transducer stack into the Sonus handpiece without damaging it and how to properly remove it. This is the Sonus stack. As you notice, it is not twisted or damaged in any way. There's a hole and O-rings on the insert. On the Sonus handpiece, there's a white dot, which is used to show you how to guide the insert in. The correct way of doing it is to line up the dot with the hole in the insert. It should just easily drop in. If it doesn't easily drop in, do not force it in. You will damage the insert and the handpiece. Once it drops in nicely, you want to push it down all the way with your thumb so the O-rings recess into the handpiece. Then you want to take the Sonus nose cone, which is white. It snaps on. It does not screw on. It doesn't make a difference which way you put it on. It just snaps right on. It will be loose and have some play. That is normal. Then you want to take the tip and you guide it in through the nose cone where it's designed and you want to hand screw it in until it tightens up. Then you want to give it one last little tug tighter to make sure it's proper. You, want, you do not want to use the tip wrench to tighten the tip, only to unscrew the tip, otherwise you will damage it. Now, how do we remove the insert? Very simple. This is where we use the tip wrench. You put it over the nose cone, you unscrew it, or you loosen it, I should say, then you remove the tip, pop off the nose cone, and you can pull the insert out. Now, it should come up pretty easily, but sometimes water makes it uh, have suction. You can use the tip in this case, screw the tip back in, and then you could use the tip as leverage to pull out the insert. That is a proper way to remove and insert the insert in the Sonus handpiece. If you have any questions, please call us toll-free at 1-800-445-8581. Thank you.